Hello everyone, today I am going to teach you how to record your song cover in BandLab. Now what you will need is a headphone with a built-in mic in it, or you can have a separate mic depending on your budget, but a headphone with a mic is enough. And of course you will need the instrumental that you will be using for your covers and you just gotta import it in BandLab. And once you're done, here are the things that you can do with your instrumental. But first we got here this quill icon where you can write your lyrics as a record so that if you don't know the lyrics yet, you can read it here while you are recording. And here's the tempo, it won't matter much. Now as an example, I have this instrumental of the song Once in a Moon by Sarah Kang. It was covered by Honey. So it's in the original key. Now, if you want to transpose the instrumental, make it higher or lower depending on your range, we got here the transpose option, so just transpose however you like, but keep that in mind that if you transpose the instrumental, it might not sound um, as better as the original. And now, after setting up the instrumental, you have to click this plus, or press this plus button, and choose this voice or audio record. And there we go! You can press this red button if you want to record already, but make sure that your headphone or earphone has been plugged into your phone. Now since I cannot sing because my voice is not that great, let me show you a project for my friend. And here as you can see we got multiple tracks, and here's the instrumental, it's in the original key. The reason why she has a lot of tracks or layers in her project is because of the harmonization, the backing vocals, which I will tackle later. So this is her main vocal. Stay Now let me show you what she did to make this recording sounded better. So as we press the recording, we got here the effects and the auto pitch options. Now let's talk about the auto pitch first. So here as you can see, the intensity of the auto pitch is in heavy. But keep that in mind that the higher the intensity, the more your voice will sound robotic. So this is her voice without the pitch correction. Stay in the middle, like you a little. Don't want no riddle, but I just say it back, oh say it ditto. And also it has no effects. Now let's increase the intensity to the heaviest. So as you can hear, it sounds robotic and it doesn't really sound great. So that's just enough intensity. Anyway, aside from the classic pitch correction, we got here the modern rap, robot, big harmony and do it but i don't think it really sounds good <laughs> or like an ideal thing to put on your project well it's up to you and now let's move on to the effects now for the effects it's a complex thing to do or to edit because it will require a lot of adjustments, experimentations, but here you can have a lot of presets already. This is already public presets set by PanLab artists or maybe famous ones. So you can try them out. For example, this one. But for the beginners, most of the tutorial out there, uh, they will tell you to use the classical chamber. Well, for me, I think I will also uh, suggest you the classical chambers if you don't know anything about the effects first, because that's what I used before when I was a beginner. So here are my presets. I got this CD plop. It's the time when I record my song, my song cover. At a city pop <laughs> genre, like a Japanese one. And here's this stolen preset. It's a preset made from my friend from Instagram. And here's the original effects from this song cover. This one is pretty great too, so if you want to copy the effects, this is it. Just pause the screen to take note.
And that's it. To search for the effects, just press this plus button and search whatever effects that you wanted to search. Or you can scroll down to explore more effects. Now let's talk about the harmonizations. Well, if you don't know anything about the harmonizations, well, me neither. Well, just kidding. To understand what harmonizations really means or how does it work, here is the example of it. And here's the combination of them all. Harmonization is kinda tricky thing to do, especially if you are tone deaf. So it will require a lot of efforts and practice to achieve a good harmonization. But if you're just a beginner and doesn't know anything about it, you can do some solo. Like without harmonization or backing vocals in your cover, that will be enough. Anyway, this is the main vocal mixed with the harmonization. Stay in, the middle, like you a little. in this case, we got two layers of main vocals for this reason. Anyway, if you don't want to repeat the process of putting the effects in auto pitch in each layers, you can just duplicate the first layer. And here, as you can see, she did a full cover of this song. And yes, she didn't record the whole thing in just one time. She has to pause every line or every harmonizations, so it will require a lot of effort. So here's her cover without the additional backing vocals and harmonizations. All the time, yeah, yeah. I got no time to lose. And yes, it still sounds good. But of course, this will work better on songs with no backing vocals and harmonizations. And here she got the lyrics. So yeah, hope you learned something new and see you on my next tutorial.